How does the author portray the character of Rabbit at the beginning of the story, The Velveteen Rabbit? In this lesson, you will learn how to make inferences about a character by connecting specific details about the character's actions and dialogue in the text. We've been reading the classic work of children's literature, The Velveteen Rabbit. This is a fictional story about the secret lives of toys, written by a woman named Marjorie Williams. It was originally published in 1922. Let's also review what we already know about stories. A series of episodes fit together to form a whole story, kind of like a puzzle. In order to understand each episode, good readers need to notice specific details to help them understand how everything fits together. Good readers pay attention to a character's words, thoughts, and actions. This is how authors develop their characters throughout each episode. Today we're going to be exploring our question about the author's initial portrayal of the main character, Rabbit, and we're going to use these three steps to guide us. 1. Reread the beginning of the text, underlining key details about the character's actions and dialogue. 2. Ask yourself, what do these key details tell me about the character? 3. Jot down how these details connect to make a supported inference about the character. Let's keep in mind our focus question for today. How does the author portray the character of Rabbit at the beginning of the story, The Velveteen Rabbit? So I know that I'm going to concentrate on the beginning of the story, where we first get to know the character of Rabbit through his speech and actions. That's the part in pink. The good stuff starts at the bottom of page 1 and will continue until the bottom of page 3. So first, I'm going to reread the beginning of the text, underlining key details about the character's actions and dialogue. Since I've read this section already, I'm really only looking for the details that tell me how is the character acting. First, I see that he was naturally shy and that some of the more expensive toys quite snubbed him. Hmm, even if I'm not sure what this snubbed part means, it seems like it could be an important part of how Rabbit will act or react, so I'm going to keep that in mind as I keep going. Now at about the middle of the page, it continues, the Rabbit could not claim to be a model of anything, for he didn't know that real rabbits existed. Well, this part seems important because this reveals rabbits' thoughts. It tells me that he's a little simple-minded since he didn't know that real rabbits exist. It continues, he thought they were all stuffed with sawdust like himself, and he understood that sawdust was quite out of date and should never be mentioned in modern circles. Wow, now I'm noticing that rabbit is acting a little embarrassed by the fact that he's so old-fashioned and simple. That seems to match with his shyness from up above. Down here at the bottom, it continues, Between them all, the poor little rabbit was made to feel himself very insignificant and commonplace, and the only person who was kind to him at all was the skin horse. Oh, so when the toys snub rabbit, they make him feel insignificant or unimportant. Of course rabbit must be all shy and embarrassed around everyone. But that last line, the only person who was kind to him, that tells me that Rabbit does find a friend here at the beginning of the story, and that's important to note because I'm sure Rabbit will be speaking with this skin horse character soon. So let me summarize the key details that I've collected about Rabbit so far in the beginning after asking how is he acting. I know that Rabbit now is naturally shy, out of date, unaware that real rabbits exist, and made to feel insignificant by the other toys except for the skin horse. The text continues on the next two slides. Try rereading this section and underlining the details on your own. Be sure to ask, what is the character saying on this slide? Pause the video if you need to, and I'll give you some clues when you continue. Here's one more passage for you to try on your own. And for this last section, ask yourself both, how is the character acting and what is he saying? We'll be adding the details we learn here to our notes. I'm going to add a few points to my notes here about Rabbit's actions and dialogue from this section that we reread. First, I noticed that Rabbit is asking a lot of questions. Also, Rabbit is worried about Skin Horse's feelings. And he is longing to be real, but he doesn't want uncomfortable things happening to him. Now I'm going to ask myself, what do these key details tell me about the character? Here's one page of my details. I'm going to ask the question in another way. 
What do these details tell me about what the character is really like? And now I'm going to take my four bullets and rephrase them in complete sentences. Rabbit is a simple toy and is embarrassed about being so out of date. He's made to feel bad about his appearance by the other toys, except for Skin Horse. Now for my other notes. What do these details tell me about what the character is really like? Let's think about it and let me put them in complete sentences. Rabbit is curious about becoming real and longs for it to happen, even if it will be uncomfortable. He is also sensitive to the feelings of others. My last step is to jot down how these details connect to make a supported inference about the character of Rabbit. I've done some good thinking about this part of the text. All I have to do is take my first inference and add it to my second inference. What's left is to write a response that fully answers our question for today. Before I jot down my final answer, I want to review the original question. What was I trying to find out from the text? Oh yeah, how does the author portray the character of Rabbit at the beginning of the story, The Velveteen Rabbit? Great, answering this will be easy since I have my key details from the text, my notes, and the inferences I've made that shows me how the author portrays Rabbit. The author portrays Rabbit as a simple yet eager toy. He's not as fancy as the other toys, and he's a little embarrassed by how out of date he is. The author also says that Rabbit is naturally shy, but he asks a lot of questions about becoming real. This shows how much he longs to become a real rabbit. He feels confident that he has a chance of becoming real after talking to the skin horse, even if becoming real might be uncomfortable. Okay, so let's review the steps that we took to explore the author's initial portrayal of Rabbit. 1. Reread the beginning of the text, underlining key details about the character's actions and dialogue. 2. Ask yourself, what do these key details tell me about the character? 3. Jot down how these details connect to make a supported inference about the character. In this lesson, you have learned how to make inferences about a character by connecting specific details about the character's actions and dialogue in the text.